neurodegenerative diseases are a multi-trillion dollar problem. Frontotemporal dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, and we have no cures. We have spent roughly $250 billion in failed clinical trials just for Alzheimer's disease. The problem is we're addressing drug development by looking at a lot of the molecular and pathological changes that occur in cells or in animal models. And then when we come up with a drug that resolves those problems, we try it in humans and it invariably fails. We're not assessing one of the really important aspects of what these drugs are supposed to do, which is to actually halt or reverse things like memory decline. Because of the large expenditures and these huge clinical trial failures, a lot of pharma has been withdrawing from this neuroscience space. We now have a solution. We have built a platform that allows us to understand cognition at a very detailed level across species using touchscreen technology. This allows us to give the animal models tasks that are identical to the ones that would be, will be used in humans, and they allow us to tap into very complex aspects of cognition. Aspects like learning, memory, attention, decision-making, planning, ultimately this is what we want to fix. We're integrating all sorts of technologies for understanding the brain. This includes the um, magnetic resonance imaging as well as techniques that allow us to investigate the brain at very specific levels of detail. And what the goal of Trident is, is to provide a one-stop shop to be able to assess drugs at the earliest stages in appropriate animal models with the appropriate testing so that we can virtually guarantee that a clinical trial will be successful. All of the different technologies that are integrated within this platform have been developed by Western researchers. We now have a pipeline that can predict whether something is very likely to be successful in humans. And we have a pipeline that can fail drugs very early so that we don't actually take those drugs into clinical trials. This reduces costs and it increases the probability that these drugs that we determine that are likely to succeed will actually succeed in humans.